Hello everybody! Have you ever regret building your house or other buildings at their current locations? Well, me too. I hated it so badly that I had to create a new character. But it doesn't have to be like that. It's not too late for you. Because today, I'm gonna show you how to move your house and other structures. So why don't you show me some love by booping that like and subscribe right there. Also, super duper thanks to Crush from the official Rob Discord community for providing the spot index sheet which made it possible for me to create this guide. Now let's hop right to it. First, the most important thing. Backing up save files. We'd really want to back up our save files so that we don't regret anything if something goes horribly wrong. To do this, go to the link below. I left a copy of this link in the description for your easy access. You can copy paste that in your file explorer and change your user to, well, your user. For example, my computer is named Meerkat, so I'ma just put it right there. And here we are. You see this folder called save? You can choose to copy the whole thing if you want to back up all of your save file. But if you want a copy of just one specific save file, then open it and you'll see a folder for each of your save files with funny looking names. In order to differentiate them from each other, you'd want to open the folder and open this with notepad or something. Just use Ctrl F to easily see the name of your character. If all your characters have the same name though, like me, all of them are named Mir for some reason, you can just input any unique thing that you have per save file. It can be the name of their pets, children, themed animals, or anything else that's really unique and can be found only on that save. For example, all these saves are named Mir, but on my first save, the name of her child is Nir, while on the second save, her child is called Kenai. Okay, anyways, I'ma just search the kid's name and see how it goes. And there we have it. Now we know that this is Mir 1 and this is Mir 2. Just copy the folder of the one you want to backup and paste that folder somewhere else for safekeeping. It can be on your desktop, other drives, or something. Moving the house. The position of the buildings in the land is defined by a property called Spot Index. The Spot Index are those numbers that you can see on the image. You might want to take note of the number of the location that you'd want your house to be moved in. To move your house, you'd want to open your save file in a notepad or something. Once it's open, use Ctrl F to look for Type 20 Building ID 8. Make sure to search that exact same thing for ease of navigation. I also placed it on the description for your easy copy pasting. Once you've located it, look for the spot index just a wee bit beside it and change the number into your desired location. So for example, it says here that this character's house is on 11. If we check it in game, it really is on 11. But it near the contribution box and the group to Dawn teleporter, and the nearest spot index there is 26. So in my save file, I'ma just put 26 in type 20 building ID 8 spot index right here, and then I'm gonna save it and load my game. And there we have it! My character's house is successfully moved to spot index 26. Moving other structures. Now that you know how to move your house, it would be easier for you to move structures as well, because you'd have to do it very similarly. The only difference would be their building ID. So instead of editing type 20 building ID 8 spot index, you'd have to edit the building ID of the structure that you want to move. Here's a list of building IDs for your reference. The player's house is 8. The sundial is 11. The tool station is 12. The plant nursery is 13. And the art station is 14. There are codes for other NPCs' houses too, but maybe let's not meddle with it. Anyways, 
For example, now that I've moved my house to spot index 26, I want my plant nursery to take spot index 11. This was where it used to be. What I should do is to look for type 20 building ID 13 because that's the building ID of the plant nursery. And put 11 right there on its spot index. Now that it's done, let's save it and load the game to see if it got moved. And here it is. It successfully moved from spot 10 to spot 11. So that's it for now. I hope this guide helped you with your dilemma. And if you have any Roots of Pacha guide suggestion at all, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more indie game guides coming your way. Bye bye